Hello guys, welcome back to Aero Condo in January 2022 update. Well, how was your Valentine's Day? Did you get bunches of roses or chocolate? Well, it doesn't have to be a romantic gift. Love from your family is also a precious gift, right? <laughs> Let's get back to our Aero Condo. In this update, we have new story. Uh, I mean side story. And what? Oh, we have. Was it scary? Oh wow, that's good. I had been waiting for it. But before that, as usual, let me activate the key first. Alright. Full game unlock. Enjoy the game. Okay. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Boss, what are you wearing? <clears throat> okay. Exclusive office for your residents. Oh, Jim Hoan, huh? Kinda good. Jim Buzz? <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> Okay, it's Eddie style. It's cool actually, but I'm just thinking of his personality in this outfit. It's kinda... Well, you know. Okay, let's go to the new story. Oh, no, 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 not this way. Okay, new location. The gym. Wow, gym, huh? Interesting place. Ah, uh, the smell of sweat floating in the air. I can't even remember when was the last time I got my butt to the gym. When I officially became Aero Condo's manager, all I knew was working, events, dealing with residents' problems on repeat, non-stop. Since everything is going fine now, it's time to take care of myself and get my body back in shape. Now where can I sign up, I wonder? This place is way bigger than I thought. Oh well, maybe I should go around and do some exploring first. I still got a lot of time. Oh, that's new NPC. Who? Hi, Hoi, Hoi. How to pronounce his name? Um, Hui then. Yeah. And one, and two, and three, and four. <laughs> oh my boss. <laughs> I mean, yeah, this outfit is cool, but <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> we are not going home until we hit the floor. <laughs> okay, well, I like it this anyway. I hope you like telecom, kiddo. Oh, look at that body. Don't forget to tell your friends to come here and train too, eh? Mm, he seems to be very interesting. The heavy lifting. Break up Miss Hui and sign up for a membership at Telecom Fitness Center. Ha, huh, good day, Spot. It seems to me that you are looking for something here. May I help you with anything? Oh, wow, good day to you too. That Sir Actually, yeah I'm thinking of signing up for a membership in this gym Can you show me the way there? Ha, huh, then you come to the right guy boy I am the way you were looking for Allow me to introduce myself <coughs> I'm Nguyen Hui And this is my gym Welcome to Telecom Fitness Center, big guy Nguyen, huh? I wonder and you are? I'm just a ho- Just call me Freko, mister. Wow! Freko, huh? What an edgy name. Like it. Thank you, Mr. Hui. I really like your muscles. They are so impressive. I wish I could be a shed like you someday. Yeah! Of course, you can. With hard work and dedication, nothing is impossible. As long as you have the will to change for the better, you are already the shed, boy. Are you ready to be the best version of yourself today, Freko? Yes, I am. Mmm! <laughs> Good, good. I admire your enthusiasm, kiddo. 
Now I need some of your information so I can make a member card for you, alright? I need you to fill your info in here, and here, then sign in here. Ha! <laughs> Give me the money. And that's it, we are done. Congrats, Frego. Now you are officially a member of Telecom. Here's a welcome gift. Oh, not huh? But why? Hope you like my nuts. <laughs> what? My goodness. Wow, your nuts are so huge and tasty. God. I'm sorry. Thank you, sir. I love it. <laughs> Who does love this man's nuts? What? Oh my. Anyway, since this is a small business, I will be the manager and coach at the same time. So if you have any questions about methods, techniques, or just need someone to spot, just ask me, okay? Don't mind if I do. <laughs> Very well. I hope you have a great time working out here, kiddo. See you around. Goodbye, Hui. He seems like a nice man, and his nuts are so delicious too. Ah, uh, Frego likes his nuts. Choosing this gym is not a bad idea after all. Hmm, there is something in my mind right now, but we'll see it later. I wish my son were here with me right now. Hmm, I wonder... Who he talks about himself and his son who no longer keeps in touch with him. Oh, poor daddy. Good day, Mr. Hui. Frego, woke out early today, aren't we? Oh, by the way, let's take his body. Oh, wow, look at those muscles. Impressive, like Freckle said, right? Yeah, I have a double shift today. Now is the only free time I can go. And Freckle is pretty good too. I mean, the chest. Well, time to do some warm up. Man, so sleepy. Eh? You're still sleepy? Hold on. It's not a good idea to train when you're not fully awake, Frigo. Here, take this. Oh, this time is banana? Well... A banana? It's so banana. Some people call it mansano. They are known as the natural pre-workout. It will help you clear your head and boost your energy. Hmm, you're right. It tastes like a mix of banana, strawberry, and apple combined. So good. I feel so strong just by the first bite. I love your banana, Hui. Uh, not again. <laughs> what a coincidence. My son said the same thing when he tried to mine too. Uh, yes, I'm trying to... You banana? Um. You have a son? Yeah! I didn't tell you. He used to be a professional elite like me. I bet he's good looking just like his father. <laughs> ha! You don't say. Not only that, that boy has a gift. Since he was a child, he has turned an aptitude for physical activities. He can play almost every kind of sport easily just by looking at a few instructions. Seeing his potential, I attempted to cultivate and train him for the national championship. Wow, national championship, huh? You should aim big, don't you, Hui? <coughs> Piece of cake, didn't I tell you that I got first place in the national bodybuilding championship? Sounds big. But it's not that hard if you take your mind to it. 
But it was still a hard deal, so I have to prepare for him a lot of things. For example, I made a daily routine for him to train, swim 5 kilometers in the morning, 4 hours at the gym at noon, and run 5 kilometers before going to bed. Eat nothing but meat, oysters, whey, vegetables, and so on. Man, cost me a fortune just to feed him those things. Wow, with training and diet like that, his body must be so big and ripped, right? Aha, uh -huh, not to brag, but his pee pee is huge just like shake a bottle, thanks to me. <laughs> it was so big that I created a game between us called PP Lifting Contest to see whose ding can lift more weight. Uh, what? What a game! Although his ding is bigger than mine, I still win the most of the time. Ha, huh, those were three good times for me. We were inseparable like that back then. But now... Now? What happened? I... I don't know. As he grows older, it seems like he's trying to keep a distance from me. I haven't received anything from him lately. Not a phone call, a text, or... <coughs> oh well, that's a story of another time. Focus on your training, Freko. I don't want to waste your time. Eh? Why all of a sudden? I'm going to the bathroom for a break. Later, kiddo. What's with the most wing? He was so cheerful when he talked about his son, and then... There must be something that happened between those two. Hmm, I think I recognize who is his son. And I bet you guys too, right? Well, where is here anyway? I'm running with the wolf tonight. I'm running with the wolf. Whoa, Freko! Don't come up from nowhere like that. I'm scared. You scared? What? Don't be scared of people staring at you while doing squat naked, big guy. Eh? What is supposed to mean, hui? Be proud and let them eat cake. Okay, interesting. <laughs> Why Hui teaches Freko the best way to squat? Suddenly, his son comes visit. Oh, his son, huh? Freko, right on time as usual. You indeed take the training seriously, huh? Good, good. What can I say? If you want a hot body, you better work be- Am I right? Huh? Good grief. The soggy bags under your eyes. You look like a panda kid. Let me guess. Double shifts again? Double shifts again? Hi. Damn. I was a steady not so brutal or the young for sure. Hang in there, kid. Someday you get rich, buy a big house, and live happily ever after. Never dare to dream about buying houses in this economy. But thanks for believing in me, Hui. So, what's the plans for working out today, big guy? I haven't decided yet. Chest, maybe? Eh? Wouldn't you just do chest the other day? Yeah, what's wrong with it? Ah! A lot, son. According to what I saw, you only focus on the upper body. Chest, arms, shoulders, and back. What about your lower part? How come you never take legs day, Freko? Uh-uh, no legs day for me, thank you. Uh, just thinking about how painful my joints feel the next day makes me so terrified. Oh. The pain she can't you out. 
and that's the reason why most people skip leg day. But you know what they say, no pain, no gain, son. The pain is not the only problem, hui. I think there's something wrong with my legs. No matter how hard I tried, I couldn't make them move the way I wanted. Although I have observed and learned very carefully from all the tutorials on the internet, the results are still the same. I want to do leg day. I love to have a butt, but I can't, you know? Oh, Poor kid, I didn't know you have been through a lot. How about this? I'll give you some advice and teach you things I know to get you a bubble butt. What do you think? Really? You will do that for me? Mr. Hui, you are a real life saver. Ha! Huh. Of course I am. Now let's get into it, shall we? Today I'll teach you about the king of all exercises, the squat. Aside from doing warm up nicely, so your joints will not get hurt, you should have a pair of proper shoes for doing squats. I suggest flat shoes, or even better, barefoot if you can. Mm. <laughs> and last but not least, I recommend you not to wear clothes when squatting. Oh what? Oh what? Oh what? Oh what? Oh my goodness! Wow! <clears throat> well? What? You mean naked? Yeah! Sometimes clothing will limit your body's movement, affecting the room, thereby making the exercise ineffective. Here, I'll show you how to squat with barbells for example. <coughs> First, safely load the barbell onto your traps and shoulders. Stand with your feet shoulder to wide apart, toes slightly out, core breast and chest up. Take a deep breath, and then when you are ready. Uh uh uh, you can't. Ha! <laughs> and that kid is how you squat properly. Now it's your turn, Frigo. Me? Me? I don't think I... Don't be shy, we are all men. Nothing to be embarrassed about. Mm. <laughs> Come on, show me how much you've learned. Well, if you say so. I'll give it a try then. Oh, wow. I missed this. A lot. <laughs> Dad, are you here? I brought some... Banana. Give me a minute, son. I'm almost done with this pretty boy here. Huh? Freko? Hold on. Huh? Shoot, don't tell me you two know each other. Wha wait a minute, Hoan is your son? Hi. <sighs> Frego. Eh? Eh? <laughs> Frego, you came too close. Ah, I knew it's you, Min Hoan. And you have that like this? Wow. I can't believe I'm an annoyance to my son. Family drama at Telecom Fitness Center. Drama, but I think it's way more sitcom. Hi. <sighs> Frego. Huh? You two know each other? Hold on. It may seem like we are both naked humping at each other. But it's not like what you think, I... Dad... Can you stop encouraging people to work on naked? Eh? It would be really nice if you put on some clothes too. <laughs> nah, why would I? What's wrong with a man naked on his property anyway? Ew! Please, I can't bear to see my dad's thing swinging around in public every time I see him. It's embarrassing. Ha! 
Do you need me to remind you that you were the one who loved to play with it the most back then? Oh, I'm terribly sorry, Freko. You have to excuse my dad. He's pretty old, so there must be something alright with his mind. Ah! Now you said that I'm crazy, you son of a bitch. N no, it's okay. Mr. Hui is very nice to me. Don't worry, Hoan. Now come to think of it. Hoan and Mr. Hui are really kind of look alike. Silly me. I should have known there must be a connection between you two sooner. Bleh. Come on, Freko. I'll never be like that. Have you ever seen me running around showing my butt for people? Uh, uh, mm. Would you look at that? Five bunches of soup bananas. Thank you for taking the time to buy this for me, champ. I've been looking everywhere, but I can't find a place where they sell those things. No big deal, dad. You know that you can order these things online, and they will be delivered to your house, right? <coughs> Come on, you know too well. This is just an excuse for me to meet my boy. Don't make me say that out loud. So, how is your life these days? Are you still teaching at Humber High? <coughs> yes, I'm still teaching there. And everything is fine so far. Thanks for asking. Wow! Is that so? Hmm, I'm happy for you. Honestly, I still regret that you gave up your career as a professional athlete to become a teacher, but... Dad, you know too well that I'm too old for that. I've had my golden age. Now we have to step down and give it back to the younger generation, did you think? Mmm, yeah. I suppose you're right. By the way, how come I haven't heard anything from you lately? No phone, not even a text message. <laughs> Don't tell me you have a girlfriend. Ha! <laughs> By the look on your face, guess it was right, huh? Well, you've reached to the age to get married, so that's only natural. So, when you are going to introduce your girl to this old man, how do you want to surprise me until you get married? Whatever is fine by me, as long as you should quickly have a grandchild for me, that's all I care about. Seeing you get married and have a child for one family makes me happy already. <coughs> I don't want to talk about that, father. What's wrong? Don't tell me you guys broke up. No wonder, that explains why you look so upset. Well, you know what they say, there's still a lot of fish in the sea. You will find another one eventually, champ. Stop it, dad. <laughs> oh, I know. How about this? Maybe I could introduce you to some of my friend's daughters. <laughs> I said stop it, you hear me? Hold on, what the... Huh? Whoa, whoa, easy there, champ. No need to rest your voice on your pop like that. I don't mean... <clears throat> That's it. I can't stand it anymore. Do you know why I didn't call you all this time? Because you are so annoying. Every time we met, you always put ridiculous expectations on me. Who want to do this? Who want to do that? It's tiring. <gasps> Yeah! I've sacrificed my whole life just to live up to your expectations. Do you know how much pleasure I had to enjoy all by myself alone at the time? Have you ever tried to see? Have you ever listened to what I truly want? <coughs> Have you, Dad? Hold on, take it easy. All I've ever wanted was a dad, dad, not a life coach. Was that too much for me to ask? 
I'm not a little kid anymore. I've grown up now. I can decide things by myself. I got my whole life, Dad. My whole life is ahead to live for me. How long do you want to haunt me? I... 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 Well, this is awkward. So much worse than I thought. Oh, they are fighting and... Hold on, I can understand you. It's pretty tough to live on expectations. What? Don't tell me you want to sign up for PP lifting contest. Eh? What? You two were just fighting. Fregal helps Hui and his son get back together. Ha! Huh. Now I still can't believe it. After all things I've done for you, this is what I get. Yes, I was a little strict with you back then, but it's only for your own good. I mean, look at you now. You are handsome, have good manners, talents, even have a big thing to make chicks fall for you. You have everything because of me. <laughs> Don't you find it a little ungrateful to say that I never care about you, Hoan? <laughs> even now. The only thing you care about is all about the outside, huh, Dad? I was right to move out and far away from you. Ah, uh, man. Drop it already. We all know that is not what you guys have in mind. Why are you always acting tough and trying to be strong all the time? It's okay to show how you really feel inside sometimes, you know? Alright, I know this has nothing to do with me, but if the two of you keep being like this, nothing will change at all. Can't be helped. Guess I will be your therapist for today's maxi challenge then. Obviously, there are some issues between you two. I don't know what it is about, but why don't you two calm down and sort it out? You know, according to my research, great relationships gradually fall apart and shatter. All because they stop talking to each other. Do you guys really want to lose each other for good, hmm? Huh? No, I can't afford to lose my son too. He's now the most precious thing in my life. You finally say how you truly think. Now we are talking. Okay, Hui. Why don't you start first? Why don't you tell Hoan what you are thinking right now? Let's just talk. I... Sometimes I don't get it. When you were young, we didn't have to fight like this. We were having the best relationship. Then suddenly you shut me out. Then decided to move out. I know that. I... I know that you have your own world now. <laughs> it's just... I just want to be a part of it. As long as I can. And please, don't put me away. It really hurts. No, Dad, you've done nothing wrong. I'm the one who should apologize. The reason I ran away from you is not your fault. It's mine. Hi. <sighs> when I was in high school, I realized that I was nothing like my friends. Those feelings inside me was not like what you thought. Not like what society expected a man like me to be. <laughs> <laughs> I was so scared. I felt guilty, ashamed of my secret, and I don't want anyone to find out about it, especially you, Dad. So I was forced to turn myself into a different person, to live up to everyone's expectations. Hiding myself, deceiving my true colors, I'm blaming everything on you just to feel secure that I'm not the problem here. Hoan, what are you talking about? Dad, I'm gay.
What? Yeah. I'm dead. Homosexual, fag, queer, whatever you call it. That's me. Eh? Huh? But but you don't look gay. If Rico said it, I can understand, but but you excuse me, said Frigo. Hey, what was that supposed to mean? Dad, it's not about how I look or how I act. It's about what the heart wants. It can't be. I wanted to tell you for so long, but I never had the guts to say it out. I cut off with you because I didn't dare to admit that I like men, that they might hurt you. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Dad. I can't give you a grandchild for a family as you wish. I can't become the son that you wanted me to be. I... I... have felt you... <coughs> it must be really difficult. What? I... After all those years living like that, it must be really difficult for you, right, Hoan? <laughs> you were suffering a lot, enduring all by yourself, while I was putting all my expectations on you carelessly. Ah, oh, I'm such a stupid father. Now come to think of it, I deserve to be pushed away like that. Dad, I've told you it's not... I just want you to know, I don't care what people will say. No matter how, no matter what, you're still my son. And I will always be here when you need me. Aww. Dad. I love you, my son. <coughs> no, no homo. Uh-huh. <coughs> Your sense of humor is still horrible as usual. C come here and give this old man a hug, will ya? Yeah! Of course, dad. You never know how much I wanted to do this with you, boy. Uh, why do I have tears in my eyes? Damn dust ninja cutting onions. But I'm glad everything went well for you too. Thank you, Freko. Thanks for making us talk about our feelings. If it wasn't for you, we might not be able to see each other ever again. Yeah! That's right. Thank you so much, Freko. To be honest, when you said you wanted to be our therapist, I was a little worried. The last time you were a detective was a mess. Excuse me? Oh, come on, I'm not that bad. Hmm, holding you in my arms like this reminds me of the back of the days. Mm. <laughs> Say, how about a PP lifting contest for old Tom's sake, champ? <coughs> Dad, you know that Freko is still here, right? Oh no, how did I interrupt this touching and steamy reunion moment of you and your father? By all means, carry on. Don't mind me. Really? <laughs> well, if you don't mind then. Great, what are you waiting for? Let's the game begin. Uh-uh-uh, you can't. <laughs> now I know it's just the smell of my gason. Probably checked off and bathed his own room with his semen. Um, mm. Dad, stop it. It's embarrassing. Well, I'm glad that we are back in normal, son. So, since you like me now, when will you introduce your boyfriend to this old man, huh? Actually, I think you two already met. Oh, Freko. Hey? Oopsie. Oh, that's very touching moment between son and father, right? Good grief, my eyesight is getting worse and worse. I can't even read newspapers anymore. 
I should think about buying glasses now. Oh well, but there's still N1, N2, N3, N4 over there. Hmm, can other residents come here too? <laughs> so I have run 15 kilometers already. How about you, Wei? 27 kilometers and still coating. Wow, that's impressive. Oh, his outfit is distracting me. Hi. <sighs> Just there again, Freco. Yes, chest day all over again. Yeah, does it way? Keep the barbell close to your chest, but be careful not to hurt your knuckles as well. On the stoster. Hey, Freco. I'm talking right now, so let's talk later, okay? I can't feel my legs anymore. I think I worked out a little too hard today. Okay, that should be all. Thank you so much for watching. See you again on the next video. This is Gary, and hope you enjoyed the PP lifting contest. <laughs> bye bye. If you want to watch more videos, so hit like, share, and follow me, okay? <laughs>